good. Okay. Hey guys, it's Security Drake here, and I am still alive. I just haven't been posting much, but anyway, let's just jump right into it. What you see here, and as you can see in the title, my copy of the first Blu-ray disc for Kimono Friends 2A just arrived, and I thought like this time I'm not uh, I'm not gonna be back uh, I'm not gonna be behind the scene, so I decided to also get it myself, despite the fact that ordering uh, ordering discs into my country is kind of hard but well we pulled this off we in there so let's see first um i need a better camera angle for this actually let's switch to the full version okay i need a better zoom out for this this is large look at how look at how, just how big this is i can't even make it fit in the camera because my webcam sucks anyway this is the front cover i'm sure most of you have seen if you've been looking at the promotional material for this disc this is what the sides look like. Um, the other side, this is what it is. So you can see, the, the, I think the disc should be here and the extra content is somewhere in this box. This is actually some kind of button, something like you see in the album books. I hope there's something good in here. Then we have the back over here. Um, just describes the... Episodes 1, 2, 3, yeah. And uh, I wish I could flip my screen, but I cannot read this upside down. I, I, I can't read Japanese upside down, so sorry. Anyway, so this is Blu-ray Disc 1. And they did outline like the bonuses here, what you'll get if you order everything. And I, but though I'm pretty sure I ordered just the standard edition, so I don't really get to have any of these. So without further ado, I think it's about time we actually unbox this thing. So... Uh, Let's try moving the plastic properly. The last time I did an unboxing for Rabi Ribby, I uh, I kept failing how to do this. So let me just take this plastic off. It's not it's not hard plastic, so we can easily peel this off. I need I need a better position for my webcam, to be honest. Alright, so it's coming off pretty easily. This entire box, uh, let me just remove the plastic behind uh, slowly. Okay, there we go. Look how big this is. In contrast, uh, oh crap, I think the delivery might have screwed up some of the, some of the things. In contrast, uh, let me just get one of the Season 1 boxes just to show you how thick this is. Um, give me a second, I think I'm gonna mess up the entire thing. So in contrast, this is, I believe, Guidebook 6 of Season 1. And look at just how the size difference of this... Um, how, how do I show it? Because freaking webcam. Like, look. Because there's a lot of more content. This one is just, like, I guess, one small book for the Season 1. While for Season 2, they have an entire thing. I hope there's something good in those thick boxes. So let me just put this back. Unless, of course, well, I did get my season one booklets uh, secondhand, so I don't know if I actually missed some of the extras. So, all right, let's try opening, let's try sliding out some of the stuff. This black thing first. So, right, so this is the Blu ray disc. Mm, here we go. It's not anything special, I think. It's just a box. The black, the black, black, the black backdrop really fits well for the theme of a uh, season two in particular especially with the color black being kind of significant towards the end of the season so this is the this is the disc and oh actually i i'm interested in the background i think this is just a background from episode one yeah this is like the pod from episode one so and then the back you just have quick screenshots of each of the episodes you have episode one two and three there is going to be four discs so there is going to be three episodes each it's written here is just a copyright, so you can see here that's um yeah just to make sure the serial code is right there. Focus, please. Um oh, I guess my webcam doesn't want to focus on it. Okay, so let's just open it. I I'm not expecting much from the Blu-ray disc itself.
Okay. Oh, that's that's the freshly opened smell. I love that smell. Freshly opened products. Right. We got here the Mono Friends 2 and opening it. We have Oh, wait. Sick. Hmm, I do have Oh. Wait, let me just uh, I got to I got to remove these. I didn't check Sorry, give me a sec. I think I, I might have I, I might be eligible for some promos. I'll I'll check this later. I I don't see a code, so I don't think I don't think there's really I have anything to do. But right now, look at this disc though. Look at this disc. Oh, that's that's wonderful. I believe if you check the rotation of the friends here, those are the friends that appeared mostly in the season. So. I, I can tell this one is a California Ashika for sure. This is Caracal. Uh, this is Banduirka. Oh, I gotta zoom in because I can't I can't see it from here. Oh, this is Zin Sinzanko. Oh wait, no, that's not necessarily because this is Commerson's Dolphin. Wait, no, we're Commerce. Wait, no, I'm being stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't see it well. Uh, I can't I can't do it uh, upside down. Anyway, so. This is a Blu-ray disc. I, pr I can probably play this on my uh, PS4, so... Okay, that's enough for the disc itself. Let's see the big thing. Let's see what it came for. Let's see what we have there. So let's put this aside for now. Envelope. Hmm. Oh! What is this? What is this? Dude! W guys, what is this? Yo! It's an envelope with something in it! And of course the design... Look at this one. This part. There's Krakow, Kyudu, and Sabari. So, let's see what's in here. Oh, cards! Oh, I love this! Oh my god, I love these! Oh shit! Encyclopedia is a mini encyclopedia, and I am absolutely amazed. This is the so we have like credits here in the back of the front cover. It's supposed to be a cover, but like it's, I guess they were trying to make it to a booklet, but decided to be each paper instead. So, oh my god, I want to read through these. So on one side we have like. Um, we have quick interviews about each episode, it seems. So you do have some interviews for, um, inter interviews or, well, CD. Oh, yeah. We have some words from the animators and things like that. Might be able to read that one. This one for episode one. Episode two is right here at the back. Episode three. So... Uh, there we go. And oh, they actually have like uh, some of the. I'm not sure if this is exactly as it appears, but these are the animal explanations from the uh, from the National Geographic segments. Well, not exactly National Geographic, but the animal explanations. I hope I get. I I'm suddenly curious to see the one from uh what do you call this For episode six. So I guess that's. Yeah, that's in number two. So in Blu-ray disc two, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about that one. So let's... this one. Oh wait, I'm I suck. Just fix my face. Past comment. So we have the CV. Oh, we got CV comments from each of the cast members. So we have Roba, we have Kargamo, we have Giant Panda. Uh, Resa Panda, California Ashika. Yeah, so we'll expect to see more of these probably when the characters get revealed for each Blu-ray disc. So right now it's only until episode three, so we only have around from Roba all the way to Bando Irka. Well, we already have comments from the main ca three cast, so I'm pretty sure we don't really need that much. Um, so we have Tabisiru Nakamoto Kaina. Oh, basically, they, they it's a pose. Basically, like a, a rotation model for the characters. We have Serval and Karakal on the front. We have Kyurudu and the, and the first three bosses on the back. First Lucky Beast, I'm sorry. So, actually didn't know the canonical names of the Lucky Beasts until recently, so... I can't read this right now because I cannot read Japanese upside down, I'm sorry. But we'll, we'll take into that later. Man, this is amazing. Oh, wait. 
So they also have not they have, they have the models for everyone. Well, not everyone. Oh yeah, it does. For all the episode one to three, so you have Roba, Kargamo, Giant Panda, uh, Resta Panda, California Ashika, and Bando Irka. Okay. You got some concept art in here, Eve. So. Hmm. This is the bus? Yeah, this is the train. Oh, and and uh, we can actually look at the. We can actually look at the stations now without pausing. So this is the concept art for the train, it seems. RIV train from episode 5? 4? Like, they did they stopped using it around 4, I think. So, well, then we have the mechanism here. Oh, more concept and... Train? Different colored trains. Look at that. Look at that. There's supposed to be, like, 6 different trains. Pretty interesting stuff. And... Yeah, the concept design... Wait, Yoshizaki! Okay! So Yoshizaki is the one who actually designed this. Yoshizaki, okay. It's pretty cool. And the interiors... Supposed to be pink? Guys, do you remember if it was pink in the actual episodes? Because I don't remember. But apparently the chairs are supposed to be pink. Like right there. Right there. Apparently that's what happened. So, oh, whatever. Okay. Mm. Scouts. This. Okay. Mm. These are backdrops for the... Backdrops for the various locations of the episode. So you have the research center here, the bad research center. Um, what are these? So near the waterfall of Desert Panda. This one is where the pandas were. This one is the um, aquarium thing. Wait, Marina. Marina Restaurant. Oh, Marina Restaurant. Okay, so the, all of the locations actually have names here. So you'll we'll be able to. Rec We'll be able to write like the actual names of the places based on these, so that's pretty amazing. Oh, they already, they already have ones for um, episode four and five, right here and six. Yeah, so look at this. They just they just outright call this research center Kaban no Uchi, so this is pretty much Kaban's home. And Kaban no Uchi to Kenkyu, Kenkyu Jo, actual research center and why. The it's kind of funny. I mean, the research center much smaller than the actual house. Oh my god, there's a lot here. Oh my god! Is this the first time I see Yoshizaki Mina's drawing of Kyuruu? Because this is amazing! Look, like, Kyuruu's- Kyuruu being drawn by Yoshizaki is amazing! Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, Mina's- Mina's art just still is just getting better every now and then. Concept design because so apparently there's supposed to be a scene where they were behind a gate. Never happens. Or concept design. Here in the back, so this is the research center, probably from the top. And big a big cellian. So right here this cutie from the pod and what is this? Dude! Oh, is this like what it's supposed to look like at the start? Before it broke, it look at this. It's kind of cyan colored, which is pretty interesting. So, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of breakdown here. I, I I'm so glad I I'm so glad I bought this because there's a lot of things to read here. More concept designs over here. Interesting. So was it originally supposed to be that this is just Kududu and Servo to? Uh, in the, in the way. So when, is, when did Krakow get added? And, oh my god, is that a scaled African elephant? Like, why is she so big here? She She's elephant size, that's kind of funny. And this is the one where they finally... Modeling... Yeah, this is Thomason Serval version 1.5. So like this is... They call this model version 1.5 for Serval. It's kind of... Fa it's kind of still far from uh, what we saw in the actual anime, so... More designs here. Honey Badger! So, that I've seen Honey Badger in some of the materials, so was it originally intended that Honey Badger was part of the part of the anime? Look at this. This is like this is supposedly where Honey Badger lives. That's Honey Badger right there. Um, it's not being seen in the camera because my camera work sucks. But that is Honey Badger right there. If the camera would actually want to focus on it, but it does not, so. 
And if his car is Orca, we saw this. We saw this posted by I believe Kimura or something. I don't remember. Mm. This is producer. Okay, one of the staff. Staff. Uh, staff interview. It seems it's a long one. So, whoever's in charge of translating this, uh, well, good luck because this is pretty. Well, it's just two pages, so we're fine. I'm sorry, four pages. <laughs> I'm stupid. So this is by, I believe, um, producer. I cannot read kanji. I'm sorry. I cannot read their names. Masumoto Takoya is the. Uh, you know, I can't read their names right now. I'm sorry. I I I haven't reviewed names so much. So let's see. There's a lot of. So we have the uh, Dai Kimono Friends, Dai Zukan. So this is like an encyclopedia for the friends. So of course they have cat bias. We, al we always have the cats first. So we have Serv Serval, Karakal, Amur Tora, and Sumatora. Sumatora Tora. <laughs> it's kind of funny saying it in Japanese. Sumatora Tora. <laughs> and we have Kyo, Kurohyo, Chita, and Marge. Of course, these are the four. Huh? So we have. I'm, I'm glad they include these encyclopedias, especially with the redesigns. So we have Arizona, Arizona Jaga, uh, Hora Anarayon, uh, Todo, really interesting. You actually put Todo and Gorgops Kaba right here. The back we get to uh, get to the uh, water mammals. So we have Bando Irka, Irowake, Irowake. Yeah, okay. I thought I was pronouncing that right. Irowake Irka, Sachi, uh, Sachi, and California Ashika. Then we got some of the other ones. I think, oh, this is the last one. Uh, this one from behind. So we have Resha Panda, Giant Panda, Araiguma, and Tanuki. They go by species at least, so it's a consistent. Uh, Oan Majiro, Osinzanko, uh, Rater, and Kuzi. Hmm. Interesting lineup for start here. We'll probably see more of the other species later down the line with the different guidebooks. They did split it like something similar like this in the season one guidebook from 1 to 6. So. And that's it. There's actually a lot. And it's not even a book format. I would appreciate if they made it into a book format, this encyclopedia. But it's in an envelope for whatever reason. It's almost like it's confidential. I love this. I actually love this. Put this back. So again, this is the encyclopedia envelope. And we're, n we're not even... We're not even done. We have to check out the big thing. I love this! You have no idea how much I love this. Okay. Oh, uh, 18 minutes in and we're not even scratching the surface. So what is this big thing? Let's check this out. Oh. Oh! Are we supposed to Oh! It's a picture! Wait. Oh! Oh! That's how you're meant to do it! So you're supposed to apparently you're supposed to put it like this in, in a picture in like uh clear book that's how you do it okay so and i'm assuming once you have everything you'll be able to fit all of it into this one so uh, um sec So let's just try inserting the first three, I guess. I thought I thought there was something, but like apparently it's just a place. Why did they put it here on their own though? That's so stupid. But it fits. It fits almost perfectly. So that's how you do it. Of course, I won't be putting all of it in uh, the video. But like that's how it works. You get the idea. So I won't be putting everything in. So let's just assume that I will after this, but let's go back to actually um, reboxing the thing. Hmm. I messed up the thing. Oh, I love this song.
I guess this is for regulation. I think, yeah, so that the size won't. Well, let's try putting everything back together. So here's the main box. This one came in last, so I'm gonna put this here. Then, I believe, oh. I believe both of these go this way. I hope it all fits. I, I'm pretty sure I screwed something up there, but there we go. So that's actually, that's kind of funny. Like they actually made, it, they actually turned the thing into a clear file. You just kind of put it all, all in, in yourself. It does give uh, give it a different air, so I kind of like it. I'll be taking the time to read most of that later, but for now, this is the unboxing for the for Blu-ray Disc One for Kimono Friends Two. Uh, I will probably do something similar for number two, maybe number three and four as well. Although number three, I'm not sure if I can buy immediately, but this is for number one. I'm so I'm so glad I bought it because there's a lot of good stuff in here. So. Of course, if you want to buy it yourself, you can get it on Amazon or places like that. Amazon is the most reliable, you know, things. Anyway, so this is three episodes. Mm, what else? So, closing remarks. I guess let's do some Kimono Friends related stuff. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to... Uh, there hasn't been news much for Kimono Friends 3, just mostly promotional material and some screenshots here and there. And then for Kimono Friends, welcome to Japari Park. It's still an episode 14 in Anitele and kind of sad. I've been, I've been waiting for episode 15 for a while, but it's been great so far. Check it out, guys, when you can. Uh, I think Crunchyroll also has that, the Welcome to Japanese Park shorts. If you guys haven't caught up with the Nexon story, definitely check it out. The animation there gives it new life, despite the fact that they're using this in-game sprites. So it's pretty good. And so I guess that's it for now. I'll be seeing you guys next time with another unboxing for Kimono Friends 2. Uh, Blu-ray disc number two. Hopefully we get some more juicy info from that one. This one is showing some promise. I think I think it was worth what I bought bought for this one. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is like I'm not sure if there is going to be Blu-ray exclusive differences. So I might actually watch the season again with the Blu-ray disc probably on my PS4. I can probably read that. So yeah, that's it. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being new with this unboxing video. I'll see you guys in the next one next month. Peace out.